My name is Kakeri from Paul Antonio. Today I am here to take you through more concepts. And the more concept is a subject of the electric chemistry form one. Today, as I said, more concept is one of the courses or a topic that runs through all the chemistry aspect, especially the calcul calculation aspect. And when you go to the analytical chemistry, the more concept is one of the highest uh, calculation aspects that you should know. So today, let me take opportunity to explain to you what you have to do. Fine. The first thing that you should notice, we have so many formulas to do the calculation. The, the more can be calculated as n is equal to small m over the big m. You can also have small n is equal to n over L. We can also have n is equal to V in decimeter cube over Vm. So these three formulas is what today we want to run through for you to understand how you can solve works on it and so many things. So now, here let me explain the symbols here. The n. The n is equal to the number of moles. The number of moles. The small m represents the mass of the substance. Then the big m represents the molar mass. Molar mass of the substance that we are dealing with. Molar mass. Of the substance. And then when you come to the second part, we have small n, which is also representing the same number of moles. And the big N here is the number of particles. Number of particles. And when you talk about number of particles, then you are dealing with what? Atoms, ions, molecules, and what? Electrons. So let me put it in the Atoms, ions, molecules, electrons. So all these without number of particles. Then there's big L here, it talks about the Avogadro constant. Avogadro constant. I'll come back and explain all these things. Then when you come to the third equation, that's the first equation, second one, third one. The third equation to we have number of moles equal to V in decimeter cube over Vm. The V here is the volume of the substance. Of the substance. And the substance that you are dealing with in what? In decimeter cube. And then the last one, the Vm here, is a molar volume. Molar volume. Molar volume. Which is also a constant. Now let's pick the equation here one by one and explain, and then we solve questions dealing with that. So now let's come here. Let me take about the first equation. The first one. The n is equal to small m over big M. This n is number of moles. Number of moles. As I already said. Now let's pick them one by one. Now let's come here. Number of moles. The meaning of a mole. Can I clean so that you write? The mole, as we know, the mole is the amount of substance which contains as many particles as there in carbon 12 isotope and also weigh in you know, 12 grams. So that's the meaning of what a mole. So let me put it down for you. When you come here, the mole here. The 
the mode is the amount amount of substance which which contain as many particles as there are as there are carbon carbon atoms carbon atoms as there are carbon atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12 12 grams of carbon 12 isotope I hope you understand the word isotope here because in our last meeting we were taught or we learned about the meaning of what isotopes or even in the DHS we were taught there and then when we come to the 12 grams here you know grams can be in a form of a, a sample then we put the sample in an, in an electric balance or a beam balance or a top band balance top band balance and that one will give us the weight of the, the sample then when we come to the particles particles as i already explained they are what particularly nature of what matter which comprises of the atom ion molecules or electrons all those four entities are what you know as what particles then when we come to another term here the amount of what substance the amount of substance meaning what is is, is entailed within me when you talk about what is matter you know matter as we are taught in the GHS matter is anything that has what weight and can occupy a space meaning we have a certain entity within it and that entity give us the, the amount of what substance Fine. So this mode, the symbol here, the symbol is the small n, and then the units is mole, is small. Yeah. And then let's come to the formula again. We said n can be small m over what big m. And I already explained that the small m, the small m, sorry, the small m is the mass of the sample that we are dealing with, the sample or the substance. And then the big m here is the molar mass, molar mass. The molar mass is also equal to the relative atomic mass, relative mass or or the relative molecular mass relative molecular mass fine so when we give you a question that you have to use this formula then you should know that you have the weight of that sample then also you have to know that you know how to calculate the relative atomic mass or the relative molecular mass of that sample and that will give us the molar mass so without wasting much time let's try a question so that you know how to use this formula to solve a question there now let's come here can i clean this okay let's pick a question here The question is saying that calculate the amount the amount of calculate the amount of oxygen amount of oxygen gas in eight grams Calculate the amount of oxygen gas in 8 grams. Okay, so
So the first thing that you should know to have the answer here. To have the answer. All that you need to know is first, try and analyze the question first. Mm -hmm. What the question is demanding from you is what? Calculate the amount of. When we say calculate the amount of, meaning calculate the amount of that substance. And what substance is here? Oxygen gas. And you know, oxygen gas is in what? Diatomic. Oxygen gas is in what? Diatomic. So the first thing is how to solve the question. We say that calculate the amount of. And when he, they ask you what, calculate the amount of, meaning the mole. The mole is saying that the mole is the amount of substance. Meaning the amount of that substance is what we are what, demanding to calculate. So here, the mole is what we are demanding to what, calculate. And then the substance is what? The oxygen gas. So that substance, oxygen gas, is a diatomic. You have to calculate the what, molar mass of it. So we can have it in this form. We have it, molar mass of oxygen gas. And then the question, we did the question, you have been provided with what, the mass. Which is what the eight grams, that is a small m, eight or grams. So all that you need to know is to calculate the molar mass. And if you remember, in our last meeting, we learnt about how to calculate the molar mass. But for the sake of this question, let's try and see small aspect of it. Fine. Here, the substance which is oxygen gas is what two atoms. This is two. So two multiply the what? relative atomic mass of what oxygen. And we know that relative atomic mass of oxygen is what? 16. So we multiply 2 by 16, which will give us what? 32. And this molar mass has a unit, if you remember that. It is what? Grams per mole. So with this information, now we can come back to what? Calculate the number of moles. And if you remember the, the formula that I gave you initially, we have n is equal to small m over the big M. And this small M is what? The mass, which is 8 grams, divided by the molar mass, which you have already done it here, which is what? 32 grams per mole. So with the help of the calculator, you can solve it here. So let me pick a calculator here. Okay, now you have 8 grams dividing by 32. And the answer is what? 0 0.25. So the answer is 0 0.25 moles. And here, the only thing that you should also notice, the grams can cancel the grams, leaving out the moles here. And that will give us the mole here. And that's for one example here. Let's try another example and see how we can solve it here. Let me clean this one again. Now let's pick another question. Saying that what mass? Question two. What mass of sodium? Sodium is contained. Is contained in. Of sodium triosocarbonate four. Okay, so that's the question. And then we do the question. They are given the relative atomic mass of sodium, then relative atomic mass of carbon, and then oxygen two. Okay. So if you have such a question, as I already said, the only thing that you should notice. Try and then analyze the question first. Try and bring out the information which is being provided. The first thing that you should notice, what mass of sodium is contained, meaning what mass you are supposed to calculate up, the mass. So here we have M is equal to what you are looking for. That's the mass, small m. Then within the question, they have given you what mass of sodium is contained in 53 grams, meaning the 
they have also given you the grams of sodium trisocarbonate. So the total mass of the sample, which is sodium trisocarbonate, is given at 53. But they are looking for only the mass of what sodium. And then within the question, you are supposed to also find out what other thing that you are supposed to need. And other thing that you're supposed to need to have is the molar mass of this sodium trioxocarbonate. And the molar mass here, we have how many sodium atoms here? Two. So two multiplying 23, which is the relative atomic mass here, plus one atom of carbon, which is one multiplying the relative atomic mass of carbon, which is 12. Then how many atoms of oxygen? Three of them. So we have three multiplying of 16 that is the relative atomic mass of what oxygen so we have to calculate the molar mass we just multiply these two we have 46 then this one will give us 12 then this one will give us 48 so when you add the three you are going to get 106 grams per mole fine this figure will give us the what the molar mass of the total compound and which is sodium trisocarbonate now we should continue from here. If we are supposed to get the moles, then we should come back to this formula. The formula says small n is equal to small m over big M. And we already know that the small m is given to us as 53. That's the mass of the whole atom. So we have n is equal to 53 grams divided by the molar mass which have been calculated here 106 grams per mole so we have here 106 grams per mole so when you have our calculator we can get the number of moles here so the number of moles is going to be 53 divided by 106 and 